welcome back to my channel. So today we have another monthly meal prep video. So I do these twice a month where I take and make things that are just for my freezer, things that are for in between meals, snacks, breakfast items, a lot of things that you would normally buy out of convenience at the grocery store, like in a big bag in the freezer section. But I like to make them myself so that I know what I'm putting in them and I can make healthier options. These are things you could totally do once a month. I don't have a very big freezer, so I just find that every two weeks works out great. Another thing you could do is double or triple the recipes if you have a large family. Um, a lot of this stuff is really friendly to that idea of where you can make a bigger batch if you wanted to. I also do a lot of things that are gluten free friendly just because we have some gluten sensitivity in our house. I also do things sometimes that are sugar free friendly, um, just really leaning towards a healthy lifestyle. I'm super excited about today's video because it is in collaboration with my friend Lynette Yoder here on YouTube. I think she was like my first YouTube friend back whenever I started and she helped me out a lot in growing my channel, giving me tips and tricks and just learning how to do YouTube. So anyways, she's become a really close friend of mine. We definitely talk on a personal basis and all of that. She's gonna be doing some cooking as well, so be sure to go and check out her channel when you're done watching this video. Lynette is a mom of three. She has two boys and a little girl that is so sweet. And she does a lot of homemaking and DIY. Her and her husband do some projects together. They've been doing some makeovers on different rooms in their home. And of course, lots of yummy recipes, cleaning motivation, all of the great things that you guys love. If you're here at my channel, I know that you'll love hers. So go ahead and click on that link in the description whenever you're done watching this and tell her that I sent you. Today's video, I have a lot planned and I have a lot of great recipes to share with you guys. And we're gonna be doing some baking, which I don't normally do a ton of baking whenever I do this cooking, but I thought it would be nice to have some muffins and some cookies in the freezer. I love frozen cookies, especially during the summertime, like right now. I'm also doing a requested recipe. I did this in my last video as well. So if you have any requested recipes, let me know in the comments. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started on our cooking. Okay, on our list of stuff to make today is sweet potato waffles. I've never tried these before, but I think they're going to be really great. Um, they are gluten free and there's just something totally different and I'm always looking for different things that are healthy. So since I have my a new fun kitchen gadget of my air fryer, I'm going to go ahead and put these in the air fryer and make them up because I need the puree. I'm going to like mash them up um, to put in into the waffle mixture. The instructions to do whole sweet potatoes in the air fryer are pretty simple. So I'm going to take my fruit and veggie cloth from Norwex, scrub these down, and then I'm going to actually like coat them in olive oil. And then you put them in the air fryer for 25 to 55 minutes, depending on the size. And if you have an air fryer and you're learning how to work with it, it's really simple to just open, pause it, open up the basket, and check the tenderness of whatever you're cooking. So it's pretty easy to kind of like check on them as you go. So I'll probably set it for like 30 minutes, check them, see how they're going. So you cover them in whatever oil you want to use. And then you also need to take a fork and just stab them about 10 times just to make sure that you're not trapping the steam inside the potato and it like explodes on you. Also, you'll be setting your air fryer at 390 degrees Fahrenheit. While those are being made in the air fryer, I'm gonna do a really simple recipe, just kind of as a version of granola bars or chewy bars. I've actually made a recipe that's very similar to those before. If I can remember, I will link that video below, but this one is more like a cereal bar. You know, you can get the bars that actually have the cereal mixed into them, and they're really, really delicious. But I'm gonna be doing this with peanut butter, honey, 
and these would be like Cheerios. They're just an off-brand that Aldi carries and then some chocolate chips for on top. This looks like a super simple recipe and like everything else will be linked below. I'm just gonna go ahead and heat these two up, I believe, and then you mix that in and top them with the chocolate chips. Also, I'm gonna be doubling this recipe because I wanna put it in a nine by 13 pan and just make a few, you know, make it a little bit more than the original recipe. All right, so this recipe was requested recently. I do have the waffles going, so if you hear the waffle iron kind of sizzling back there, that's what's going on. But somebody asked for me to do like salmon bites or salmon cakes or something with salmon. So, which is perfect because I've actually been trying to incorporate more salmon into our diets just because it's so much healthier um, than a lot of other proteins. So I have about a pound of salmon here and this recipe actually calls for you to cook the salmon first. If you click on the link of the recipe below, you'll see the instructions on how to do it in the oven. I am gonna do this in my air fryer since I'm like going a little crazy with the air fryer since we just got it. Um, so I'm gonna cook it up in the air fryer first and then we'll put it back, um, I'll wash the bowl, put it back in the bowl and then make it into the bite sized uh, with the rest of the ingredients. And then I'm going to put them back in the air fryer, make them crispy little bites so I can stick them in the freezer flash freeze them put them in a bag and then I can just reheat them in the air fryer if that all makes sense so the first thing I'm gonna do is lay all this out in the air fryer and get them cooked up I know that you are having a hard time right now That everything seems to crumble around you I know that you feel all alone in this world 
All right, so this has a couple droplets of water in here because I just washed this out from doing the salmon fillets in here. And now I've mixed this up in her recipe. I believe she has like a vegan option for egg. I just used a regular egg. And then of course she does use, I think panko breadcrumbs and I used almond flour. Now the almond flour didn't quite absorb enough moisture to be able to like pack this into bite sized pieces. So I added a little bit of coconut flour. I've mentioned this before, but coconut flour absorbs a lot of liquid. So if you're looking for a gluten free option to put in your burgers or meatballs or something like that, a little bit goes a really long way, but it helps to kind of bind together things. So I think this is good enough to make into bite-sized pieces. I'm just gonna put them all in here and then I'm gonna put them in the air fryer, probably on the French fry setting that's on my air fryer, um, just to kind of give them a crispy outside enough that I can flash freeze them and then put them in the freezer. Also, like I said, there is oven instructions on this recipe. Like you just saw, I'm flash freezing the waffles right now, and now I'm gonna start in on some green muffins. So I've got some oats in my blender up here. I'm gonna blend those first, and then put all the other ingredients in, blend them up, and I'm actually gonna be making mini muffins just because they're a little bit easier for my little girls to eat instead of doing a regular size muffin. And this recipe is really easy. I love, if you guys haven't noticed from my meal prep videos, I really like blender recipes piece um, you can just blend everything up like the waffles um, and you can make stuff super quick and it's a really good way to do really healthy recipes like this one for example is gluten-free as long as you get gluten-free oats um, and then you can put in some bananas and some spinach and use a little bit of local honey and it's super delicious I've made things like this one before I haven't made this exact recipe so I'm really excited to try it out Quiet voices in the night and Time is running out of sight A lonely wind is passing by it Tries to carry all the whispers that it finds The walls are listening when we talk Making echoes as we walk no one left but you and me It's like a made up place that only we can see Hold my hand here. 
while the muffins are baking, I'm gonna head into the next recipe. I'm so excited about trying this recipe out. It is a gluten-free oatmeal cookie. It is not keto-friendly and it's not sugar-free. So keep those in mind because I do a lot of recipes that are like that. Um, but this one does have brown sugar and I'm also going to be using some organic raw sugar as well. And so basically it's just a chocolate chip oatmeal cookie. I know that my husband really enjoys these and he's the one in our house that is the most gluten sensitive. Um, so these will work out great. And I'm so curious to see if they're a little bit more of a uh, hard, like snappable oatmeal cookie or if they're a little more soft. We'll see how they turn out, but I'm gonna get all the ingredients mixed up and then get ready to put them on the pan. Stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away. Show us where we are. What makes the sun go to sleep every night? And what's it dreaming of? I wonder. like me a little bit scared of heights why does the rain always keep on pouring down when it's gray outside it really makes me wonder muffins turned out super yummy. I know my girls are really going to like them. They definitely had a very banana taste to them, but of course, sneaking some greens in is never a bad thing. Could it be to make the ground shine like cold until winter comes? Until winter comes? Until winter comes? Also, I wanted to tell you that the salmon bites ended up being so delicious. I plan to reheat them for lunches and then just serve them with like a tartar sauce. It's really easy to whip up. And also these cookies were really good. They were more of a soft cookie, which I know our family will really enjoy. I hope that today's video inspired you. If you're new here, I'd love it if you joined my channel and hit the subscribe button. If you're coming from Lynn's channel, welcome. I hope you stick around. And don't forget to leave me a comment, give this video a like, and I'll see you guys in my next video. stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away and show us where we are it really makes me wonder